is we're just telling you why we moved to the philippines we've been seeing a lot of comments asking why did you guys move did you move did you relocate are you on vacation what is happening uh there's not a full clarification and so today we just want to clear the airways and get a full clarification did we move did we relocate why are we house hunting why are we not in a hotel why are we i thought you on vacation so all that i would just want to talk about that all right so we've taken a walk far from the children they're a little bit too high par but we'll continue to let you know the reasons why we left <laughs> why we left there, nairobi kenya all right why we moved to the philippines so one of the reasons uh of course it's good to when you're doing a life decision to think about it consult uh, pray about it and your spiritual um, leaders whether authority or pastor so for us that's also the reason we move um, we feel that it's the leading of god at this stage of our life to move uh, here for now yes Yes, and also the children, uh, their curriculum, they've been doing the CBC system in Nairobi, Kenya, and we went to them in the AC system, that's the Accelerated Christian Education. And so here we have a school that will be able just to get them into that system. And so the AC system, uh, we really want our children in that system. They're able, the foundation of the Word of God in yes. their lives is Word of God, important. because ACE means Accelerated Christian Education, mm -hmm. and it uh, integrates the scriptures versus as they're studying their subjects. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, my family, we happen to have a school here that is an ACE mm -hmm. school system, SOT School of Tomorrow, Philippines. And we just love to have them here in that uh, school. Yes. And we also just want to enjoy the culture. Yes, we want to fully uh, embrace the Filipino culture. Uh, my children have just, they only know one culture. So they don't know the food of here. They don't know the language. They don't know anything. And so just to know the this is a complete 50% of them. <laughs> so we just want them to embrace and know their culture and be able to integrate it in their lives. Yes, uh, they are Filipinos after all. So we brought them here so that they could also learn Filipino, Tagalog. <laughs> so, you know, it's important for them wh while they're still young, their minds are still able to learn uh, a new language um, easier and faster. Um, I know a lot of people are telling me, oh, why, do, why don't you teach them? It's easier said than done, especially when you're the only uh, language speaker in the family. Because as you know, everybody else there just speaks English or Swahili. And um, it's really difficult to teach them th uh, that language when I don't have anyone to converse with. I'll begin with, uh, you know, gusto and zest. Okay, I'm going to teach them today. And then I begin the first two minutes and they're just looking at me blankly. Like, what are you saying, Dad? When I talk to them in Tagalog, when we were living in Kenya, um, but here now they're forced to learn the language, which is good <laughs> in their interaction. In fact, uh, the wonderful uh, lady, Nanai, that we have, who's helping us right now, she, does, she doesn't speak English at all. She chooses just to speak in Tagalog. So the kids are being forced <laughs> to hear and eventually learn. That's part of the learning process um, for the kids to adapt into their language yeah and then eventually we are here for ministry remember we are reverent and so we have not let our our calling 
uh, girl we just want to continue to minister here in the philippines we want to have our wider range of reaching out to the gospel of jesus christ philippines for jesus of course uh we just want to continue uh, ministering to the people here yes uh of course the gospel is uh, going on well in kenya mm -hmm. it's vibrant the church scene there and uh we continue to thank god for the experience and the labor that uh, we've been doing in kenya mm -hmm. in the church there and the people we've been uh, ministering to uh, but now it's time to bring that to uh, gospel of yes, Christ of Jesus yes, to share the love of Jesus t in the Philippines, uh, you know, in our daily lives, in uh, preaching here on YouTube as well, yeah. and in churches here as the Lord opens doors, mm -hmm. and also just um, you know sharing the love of Christ yeah. through our lives. Yeah. It's more than just words; it's really just about yeah. living and manifesting that that. Um, gospel of christ yes 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 and we want to travel the philippines it's more fun in the philippines hey, i'm totally yes new. that's hey, another reason we have seven thousand seven hundred plus islands imagine that's what the philippines is comprised of and we want to travel them we want our children to see the philippines and get it in its fullness where we live in tagetai but we just want to go all over yes <laughs> yeah. uh we're gonna do island hopping god willing god willing <laughs> For sure. Yes, uh, uh, the kids were saying, "Wow, the Philippines has te seven thousand islands." Yeah. I was like, "Yes, there's even a place where you can see a hundred islands wow. in in one place." Uh, wow. Of course, they're small <laughs> islands, but uh, I'll take you there. Don't worry. Wow. So yes, get to enjoy the Philippines. To see the chocolate hills. Right? The chocolate hills. <laughs> yeah. uh, mom, when they my mom brought your mom. Yeah to Our the chocolate there. yes and so she couldn't stop talking about them when i don't believe i've been married to eight years i have never seen the chocolate hill i've never seen davao cebu all those places i really need to see them, I've been to davao, them. Cebu. imagine i've never okay. been there but and you've so, been to palawan right yeah i've been to palawan el nido i need to go to boracay yes did we do a vlog about palawan no we did not okay. we were not yet vloggers then but please uh if you're a filipino please recommend to our small areas that we need to see hidden treasures in the philippines I'm sure there are so many. Another reason of moving here to the Philippines is for them to spend time with their Lolo. That's yeah. the grandfather um, in Tagalog and their Lolas and their Tito's uncles and aunties and of course cousins. Uh, they have wonderful cousins in Kenya. Uh, but uh, I would say that they have more, <laughs> even more cousins here um, who they have not gotten to know or been with so now is a chance for them to spend time with their filipino cousins and aunties and titas yes that's part of their heritage of course uh, it wouldn't be nice for them to grow up their whole lives and just seeing them in pictures in and pictures. not being able to interact with them and know them yes, yes. and as you can see in filipino are really they're very much family integrated and so i think it's a beautiful thing that they may be able to experience that as they grow up yes to play with their cousins and uh, yeah form those uh, family bonds another reason of moving to the philippines did you know that in the Philippines, you can actually go to university? You can go to college for free. <laughs> There's a government program that um, for those who qualify, uh, yes, you get free university. Uh, so, of course, there are four children. So, <laughs> if you get a free university for four kids, oh my goodness, that is a godsend. Of course, we don't know the future. Uh, only God knows. Uh, but yeah, Philippines, a great place um, if you're thinking of sending your children to school. But yeah, I know they have to qualify. Uh, and of course, yeah. We, we also have a lot of... What um, do you take to qualify? Inform us that friends. I have to Google. <laughs> All right. And for me, I find that the Philippines is a very good blend between Kenya and America. As you all know, I went to college in America and so, and I grew up in Kenya and I find Philippines is the perfect balance because America is so much here, the Starbucks, everything, shakies. <laughs> I mean, there's a little heaven of America here. And so, and also Kenya here because it has a lot of culture. And so I just love that, that I get a balance of both worlds uh, in this beautiful, beautiful land. And the people are very, very friendly. I haven't, um, 
Oh, we haven't. Plus, the children, we haven't uh, had any racism. Yay! Uh, <laughs> but I can't speak for all blacks in the Philippines. I'm just talking about my experience. Uh, so had, far, so good. So far, so good. People are so friendly. Keep it that way. Greeted. As you have seen in our vlogs, even when we're shopping, I'll just be moving around with a bunch of people helping me out. So I'm just so grateful and truly, truly love uh, this place. Like, I don't miss home as much because of just being embraced by the country or the land accepting you as we would say in Kenya you have been accepted by the land so I just thank God for that it's a true blessing it's not something that you get every day and yeah I don't know why it took so long actually my husband has taken eight years to convince me to make this move <laughs> <laughs> but I felt like finally uh, that we we are able to make this move we were able to get there like I was mentally able to get there I was just mentally prepared I think the Holy Spirit prepared me and even as that's why I was crying so much leaving my country because I just knew this is this is this is it <laughs> like this is it we are doing this and there's no turning back or coming back like we've been doing in other years where you, did, you know you're going but uh, I can come back but yeah, so I thank God for just the grace for the transition and just the love of the family, the warmth of the family. It has been wonderful. And the family has just been able to help us to go through the whole transition. Oh, yes. like, they have just we, been so thank helpful. Thank you so much, our camp Thank family. you so much, everyone. We love you, the siblings and everybody, cousins, best friends. <laughs> it has been a, a very good transition as you've been seeing. And uh, we are truly grateful. In fact, I don't think we've bought a meal for ourselves uh yeah they've just now. always Since been treating arrived, us lunch you know? dinner yes and the grocery for, for now thank you so much for watching us and please continue to watch and subscribe and look at that beautiful background behind Ooh, beautiful background and we're having a beautiful romantic walk with my lord ah my thank queen. you philippines to the beautiful breeze here in thai guy thai philippines thank you so much and may god truly bless you bye, bye.